This is a, uh, a piece of text for a memorial sign I'm making. I've engraved the inner part and I've created an offset or an outline uh, to go around that so it can be cut out. Now, what I discovered and what many people will discover when I first got my Glowforge when I'm out engraving is engraving takes quite a long time. And one of the factors in that is is the layout. So it's, it's tempting to lay out the, uh, the work you've done the way you want to display it. So this would normally be how I would display this work. So this will be sitting above. You see the shape here of someone I've uh, already previously engraved and cut out and it will sit above their heads there. That's how I'd normally lay out the design. But when engraving, you have to imagine, remember that if I just draw a quick square here, sort of square out, the, um, the head of the Glowforge, the laser head, so imagine this is the laser head here, the black box uh, with the word Glowforge written across it. Um, this obviously sits inside the machine and goes left to right, left to right and moves around accordingly. So it would move around there to cut this out. And for an engraving, it would go left to right. And it would start maybe down the bottom or start on the top. And it would go left to right. So it would engrave, travel all the way across here, engrave, then back again, engrave, travel all the way across. So that's what you have to do. So it'd be doing this constantly backwards, forwards, backwards, or left, right, left, right. So it's traveling quite a long way. This, some people may have missed this. I'm sure most people haven't, but just in case you do, just by simply taking the design and repositioning it. So I'm holding down the shift key here um, to make sure it moves in increments. So I can keep it nice and straight. If I let go of the shift key, it will move more freely, but hold the shift key and it will move in increments. So I can move it around and put it that way around um, and then move it into position. Now, when the Glowforge wants to engrave, it will move from left to right, just here. Smaller motions, smaller movements. And it will move, move its way down and move its way across like this. So it's traveling this. So I'll give you an example. I'll show you what I mean. If I um, leave the design as is, as many people would do naturally, because that's the layout you're going to have. I now press print. It will calculate how long it will take to do this. So that shows 29 minutes, for, so basically half an hour for this here. That seems a bit excessive for me. That seems a bit bit much. So I could go back and change some of the settings. I could maybe make it a draft graphic instead. Um, maybe just adjust some of the um, lines per inch or adjust the, the speed. I don't want to mess it up. I don't want to mess around with that. Um, I'd rather just change to a, another setting like a draft or something. Or just simply by changing the position of this move it to another position so that we have that shorter range of travel for the laser head I'll cancel this one I'll redo it again let's print again, it will recalculate it now let's see how much time it takes or it should take look at that, less than half the amount of time so I've saved 15 minutes in time just by changing the position of this. It's going to do exactly the same job, the same quality, the same standard, but so much quicker. Now, most people will probably work this out and understand this or, 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 or work, calculate this or whatever it is for themselves already. Um, but I, for one, didn't think about this initially until I started playing around with things and re readjusting things. And when I had a whole sheet of, of, of different designs to do and I moved them around and then I discovered Obviously, it makes sense if you've got to travel, if the, if, the, if the box has got to travel from one end to the other, just to engrave a little bit, that travel time adds up. So by cutting that travel time down, so it's only moving left and right in a smaller area, it's halved the time, more than half the time. I hope that helps, those few little tips there. Double check, before you um, press print, just double check to see if there's a way of just rearranging the shape and position of your design to save yourself some time. It means you get more work done, uh, you will be more productive, you'll be more, efi more efficient with your energy, uh, and, and the, obviously the Glowforge tube has been used less. Over time, this will add up as well. Uh, it will prolong the life of your Glowforge.